Welcome. Uh, my name is Tom Redding from the St. Ange Company. I'm a uh, director of the healthcare practice. Um, on behalf of ARM, thank you uh, for joining today. Um, today I will be spending time talking about supply chain um, assessments and how to identify opportunities for improvement in your organization. We'll be talking a little bit about the consolidation of, of the industry. As, as you know, there's, there's a lot of um, activity of uh, mergers, acquisitions, there's hospitals that are closing. As, as I say, there's three different hospitals, ones that are buying, ones that are selling, and ones that are closing. Uh, we hope that you're not the ones that are closing. If you're in the process of acquiring other hospitals, uh, you probably recognize that there's uh, disjointed operations that occur um, through consolidation. Is, is, uh, there's cost savings and opportunities, um, but you recognize that as you bring two or multiple hospitals together, they may be doing different things, and you have to tackle those one at a time. Some some health systems tackled as a as a an entire um, an approach where they're looking at from the contracting procurement to distribution logistics, and and how inventory is managed up on the floors. Um, as as you go through your journey of of identifying opportunities, you'll have to make the determination if you want to look at uh, from a supply chain system, if you want to look at managing and, and improving from a campus level. Um, if you're looking at the hospital level or particularly at a, at a department level, if you're, if you're looking at a uh, warehouse or a storeroom operation, uh, you may look at that as, as an opportunity to drive improvements, improve service to the clinical operations to make sure that they're getting the right supplies at the right time, the right place. Um, a, as you think about doing an assessment, you, the first thing you need to think about is, again, who are my customers? Who am I supporting? You may be thinking about it as a, a very narrow focus, but you have to recognize that you know, there may be um, supply chain operations that are managed by the clinical staff. There's, there's certain pieces that are managed by different departments out of supply chain. So you may have to first take a holistic view to understand the customer base, understand where do you fit within that customer, ba customer base, so that you can get a, a good understanding of um, what the baseline is today before you start making any changes. Um, so again, I, I would recognize that you need to first think about the scope and the breadth that you're going to focus on. Um, you need to think about getting that champion support and you need to make sure you have the right people in the project. And another piece is making sure you have the right data to support the project. So it's, it's easy to do interviews. Um, it's hard sometimes to correlate the data to what actually happens in your operation. So again, I would just keep that in mind as you're, as you're thinking about uh, embarking on a supply chain assessment of, of data availability. And as you're working through that assessment, um, I think um, looking at the people, the process, the technology, the culture, the performance, understanding do you even have a strategy to begin with. Um, all those pieces have to be understood. Um, again, it could be at a, at a macro level, it could be a micro level. Um, you just have to kind of define what you need on, a, as part of your consolidation. You may find out that um, most of your efforts should be around contracting because you have you know, different contracting vehicles from health system to health system, and as you're consolidating, the first thing you need to do is make sure you're getting the best pricing um, for your contracts and for your and for your end users. So as, as you think about a health system that recently embarked on this this journey, um, this was the health system, uh, six different hospitals, they've they've expanded over a number of years. Um, they, they came to the realization that they had very disjointed processes. Um, so we, we supported them through this journey of looking at a beginning to end from the contracting, procurement, distribution, logistics, and ultimately what was happening on the floors and how they're managing inventory. Um, and, and I would say one of the first things we found when we started doing this holistic approach was that everybody was very excited about making change. And, and I think that was very exciting for us, but recognizing, again, tempering expectations that we need to make sure that we're focused and we're doing the right things um, so we get the right outcomes at the end of the day. Um, so as we looked at the, the contracting side, we realized pretty quickly that there was no rebate tracking. There was a, you know, manual reconciliation of, of a price. So if, if the price was wrong and, and the, there was a discrepancy on an invoice, how did I make sure that I was getting the right price and I was paying the right price? Do I even have a, a, a contract price discrepancy report? I mean, some of these things are very basic, but many health systems, as, as they grow, they're, just, they're simply growing and they want to make sure they're providing the right level of care for their patients and providing supplies and, and equipment. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you get lost in the, in the shuffle of things. You need to make sure you step back and say, do I have the right things in place to uh, support this operation? So again, as, as you progress beyond contracting procurement, do we have the right uh, or consistent uh, business practices for how we're um, uh, ordering supplies, how we're managing supplies? As simple as, you know, when I have a, a product that comes in, it's being ordered, 
how do I make sure that I that I have the right amount of product, but also the, the, I'm paying the right price? So, and then as you progress into what they're being managed, do I have the right supplies consistently across these various hospitals? We found that out of two thousand different items, there was only fifty four that were common across six different hospitals, which is which is quite staggering when you think about they're they're providing pretty much the same exact care across these various hospitals between the emergency department, uh, inpatient, outpatient. Uh, they're all fairly consistent. Um, I think that was eye-opening for the team. The question is, how do we get to standardization? And I think that's where the industry is going. Of how do we standardize supplies? And again, this was just a, this was an outcome from the from the assessment, but it allowed the team to you know figure out what is the right thing to do. So again, there, there's a whole host of things that came out of the assessment. One was you know the contracting. One was you know bi uh, business practices for procurement. How do we manage inventory, not just in the warehouse, but also as up on the floors? Um, so uh, again, for us, we'll end to end. For you, just have to figure out what is the, what is the right mix of assessment. Again, I would just kind of in, in closing as as you think about your future. Um, again, just take a step back, think about what you're doing. Recognize you have a daytime job. Um, you have to architect the plan before you start to execute it. Again, same thing you do day in and day out today. We just need to make sure and you think about um, before you execute. So again, thank you for your time. Wish you well, and I look forward to seeing you again.